Hi everyone, in this video we will be going over the Code Chef problem lift requests from the April Cookoff 2020 Division 2. And so I'll summarize a problem. Basically, it's saying that we have a lift that starts off at the ground floor, and then there's queue requests, and at each request, the lift has to move from its current position to source floor F of I, where people will enter the lift, and then the lift has to move to destination floor D of I, where they exit the lift. And so we keep on doing this for Q requests. And so we want to find the total number of floors the lift needs to travel to fulfill all the requests. So let's look at the input case to better understand this problem. So here we're given one test case, and then N in this case is 2, which means that we're traveling two floors, and then the number of queries, Q, is 3. And so again, we start off at the 0th floor. So we start off here, and then at the first request, the source floor is 1. So then we would move up to 1 to pick up the passengers, and then the destination floor is 2. So we would move up to 2 to drop off the passengers. And then the next request, the source node is at 0. So then we would have to move all the way down to pick up the passengers, and then we would have to move up 1 to drop off the passengers. And so then at our third request, the source node is 1, and then we have to drop off the passengers at 0. And since we're already at 1, we can just, we don't have to move, so then we just go down to drop off the passengers at 0. And so in total, we travel 6 floors, and so the output is 6. And so to solve this problem, we can pretty much just stimulate what is happening. So we know that at each request, we have to go from our current position to the source floor, and then from each source floor, we have to go to the destination floor. And so in that case, what we're doing at every request is we're taking the absolute value of the current position minus the source floor, and then we're adding that to the absolute value of the source floor minus the destination floor. And so we just keep on adding this to a total. And then at the end, we'll return that total. So let's go over the code for this now. Okay, so for the code, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna input the number of test cases, and then while t minus minus, we're gonna be doing each of the cases. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna input n and q. And n again stands for the number of floors, and q stands for the number of queries. And so we're also gonna create variables for the total, which, is, which will be our answer, and also the current position we're on. And so since we start from floor zero, the current position will just be zero. And so while Q minus minus, we'll input the source node and the destination floor for each of the queries. So we'll represent those with A and B. And so we know that we're going from our current position to floor A, which is the source floor. So we would add the absolute value of the current position minus A to total. And then we know that from each source floor, we have to go to the destination floor. So then we're also going to add the absolute value of A minus B. And so at the end, we went, now want to update current position to represent the last floor we were on, which will be B. And so then after the while loop, we can see out our total. So let's try running this. And so let's just put in the test case, and we get the right answer of 6. 